Guys, back again. So I told you to check out Engineering the Alpha. I really recommend this book. If you can get your hands on it, please do so. But if not, there's just a couple things I want to point out to you. And the first one is intermediate fasting. You might have heard of this. It's pretty popular these days. And I think for good reason. It's got a lot of benefits. If you're struggling to lose weight, if you're struggling to put on muscle, if you're struggling, your body's just not changing with the diets that you've been using. Check out intermediate fasting. I'm not going to go too deep, but I want you to just be aware of it and then do your own research. It says intermediate fasting is merely alternating intervals of not eating, so fasting, with times when you are allowed to eat. Now, when we do this, it has a host of good benefits for the hormones, the insulin sensitivity, it, you know, instead of just eating all day and our insulin firing, firing, when we wait, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in the body that we can really benefit from. So uh, one thing to insulin sensitivity, it says, insulin sensitivity is also increased. Uh, intermediate fasting takes that a step further and turns your body into a fat burning, muscle building machine. You see, if you skip breakfast and extend the fasting period beyond the typical 8 to 10 hours, you increase insulin even more. Does this make a difference? You bet it does, both internally in terms of efficiency with which your body functions and externally with how you look. But that's not just the beginning. Insulin sensitivity is also increased after you exercise. In which case, if you train in your fasted state in the morning and then eat, you have set your body up to maximize fat burning in the morning. What's more, you turn all your post-workout meals, so everything you eat the rest of the day into super fuel that will have you looking leaner and more muscular and feeling more satisfied and energized than ever before. So intermediate fasting is pretty much picking a window of time during the day that you eat and then a separate time where you're just fasting throughout the day. It sounds absurd, but that whole notion of, you remember the personal trainers, all the magazines, the protein companies, you gotta have protein, you gotta eat every two, three hours. Guys, we're in 2015, that's not the case. There are much better ways. I've actually experienced or experimented with intermediate fasting myself and have got nothing but good results. I let it go for a while, but I'm gonna jump back on just because I didn't know all the benefits uh, of sticking to something like this. So, now you're aware of intermittent fasting. Look it up. Usually, you take a 16-hour window of time where you do not eat, you fast, and then an 8-hour window where you eat. So, what else can I point out about this? Recommended that you fast, you're sleeping, you fast for 8 hours, hopefully you get 8 hours, and then you wake up and you also miss breakfast. You would train, you would fast maybe until you know 12 and then you eat until 8 o'clock at night and then you start your fast again. You can pick the window. So do some research. Intermediate fasting also goes by if and let me know what you guys think. I'm going to share with you real quick ways to boost a couple of hormones. So this book really puts an emphasis on managing your hormones and doing things, eating the right foods, the way we train, uh, the, the way we sleep, but the quality of sleep that we get on influencer hormones because they play such a big role in building more muscle and burning more fat and having more sex. Like I said before, lib libido is super important guys, to making us feel like men that can take on the world. So it, it's got a list of hormones. The main one we want to build up is testosterone and growth hormone. We're not injecting this stuff our body's natural hormones. So, it says, your testosterone levels peak in your 20s, but then they instantly begin dropping once you hit your 30s. The good news is you don't need to spend money to boost your T levels. Most doctors are overly quick to prescri prescribe hormone replacement therapy and fill your body with extraneous hormones. But it's been shown that small changes such as sleeping more can be all it takes to increase testosterone as much as 50%. And that's just one simple change. Um, anything else I want to point out here? So your, your testosterone can stay high until your 60s even. So you'll find plenty of tips to increase testosterone in this book, but here's your cheat sheet 
to higher T levels. And I wrote down a few, couldn't fit them all in here. Lifting heavy weights, all right? We all, pretty much, a lot of us are weight training. Lifting heavy weights, doing intervals, uh, maybe, you know, training a little quicker, maybe the time, uh, the intensity, practice sprints. This is one thing that I want to start doing. I do it very rarely, but man, you see sprinter's legs, They're huge. Supplement with vitamin D, at least 300 IU. That seems awfully low. I take vitamin D myself, but many Americans, especially men, are deficient. We don't get enough sun, guys, so vitamin D, at least 300 IU. From what I've read, I would say go with a gram. Don't smoke. All right, that's simple. Sleep more than six hours. That's low, man. When you don't, hopefully, you're not sleeping less than six hours. Because they said even after a week of getting less than six hours of sleep, your body, your testosterone drops 15%. It's that of someone who's uh, 15 years older than you. So then, then if you were like 24 years old, it'd be 15 years older. Comparable. A couple other things. Supplement with zinc. See the video on that. So, uh, eat more protein. Do squats and deadlifts along with lifting heavy. Use shorter rest periods in the gym. Take fish oil. Don't overtrain. Include fat from animals in your diet. Don't be afraid of fat, guys. Do not be afraid of fat. And eat eggs. And pretty much all, the next one says growth hormone, uh, ghrelin, leptin, when it comes leptin, it's huge when trying to lose weight. They all have sleep more in common, faster in the morning, uh, use the intermediate fasting I talked about, improve your sleep quality, lift heavier weights, eat big before going to bed, do high intensity cardio, uh, metabolic resistance training, don't eat too big before a workout. Don't eat too many calories before exercise. You know, I don't want to get too nitpicky with it, but pretty much just take a look at some of these things. Some of the main ones, what can we do to boost our testosterone and feel like alpha males? So guys, I will see you soon. I hope this helps. And now you're aware on intermediate fasting, it could change your life. Give it some time, check it out. Please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon.